Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric and I like to read and today we're going to be doing a book haul. So as you may know, I collect a lot of books and it looks like I've collected a lot more. So I'm doing another book haul. I know I really need to stop collecting all these books, but I just can't help myself. And to be fair, a lot of them are sent to me. So what can you do? So this video is actually sponsored by a new Kickstarter that actually started yesterday for a new graphic novel coming out. And this is called Olaju, The Edge of Origins. So this is the cover here. I actually had the privilege of reading like a preview of it. I think it was only it was only about like 20 pages or so, but I read the preview and guys, I gotta let you know, I'm definitely intrigued and I really want to read this graphic novel when it comes out. So as I said, the Kickstarter is currently happening. It started yesterday and I believe it's happening for a month. I'll give you guys like a little brief like introduction about what this graphic novel is about. And then yeah, so I'll share with you guys and show you what the Kickstarter has entailed with it. So Alaju is a prehistorical fantasy and magical tale that visits the earth way before the introduction of human beings and the creatures you know today. It is an extreme fantasy story that aims to put you in a world of endless imagination on how the earth could have been thousands or even millions of years before man. Balaju, meaning civilization or enlightenment in the Yoruba language, has been in the works for over seven years. Telling a story of this nature comes with deep thought and wild imagination. It is a family fun story filled with suspense, action, beautiful scenes, and real scientific knowledge. And you guys could get this for as little as $10. You can get the PDF copy and your name in the actual graphic novel. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's also other stuff that they have. They have merch that you can get in their different Kickstarter packages, such as, um, I think it's a hoodie. They have t-shirts. They also have little collectible figures, sticker sets, all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to put the Kickstarter link in the description down below so you guys can go check it out and see for yourself. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the book haul portion of the video. So as you guys may have known, I've been getting quite a few editions from Harlequin lately, and I recently got a bunch of Christmas editions. I mentioned them in my last TBR, so I'll just go over them really quickly. But I got Colorado Christmas Magic. Snowbound with her mountain cowboy, her Christmas dilemma, which is one of the ones I'm reading for my TBR. I'm also reading the Colorado Christmas magic as well. And then claiming his Christmas inheritance is another one. I also recently got sent a package of three, which are from their like mystery intrigue, like suspense collection. So one of them actually just arrived like 10 minutes before I went to film this video. So that was perfect timing. We have an operative's last stand. Undercover Canine Cowboy and Buried Cold Case Secrets. So we got a couple of mysterious intrigue novels to read. I'm excited about these ones to see how they go. I haven't read too many like mystery novels. I've read lots of thrillers, but I feel like these ones are going to be like a little more like laid back, like lighter mystery. So we'll see how they go. I also collected this third volume of the Dragonlance Chronicles. Um, this is just because I've had the first two editions of this series since I was like in high school. I bought them at a used bookstore and I found this third edition at our local used store. And so I was like, you know what? I might as well finish the series. Have I picked up any of these books? Absolutely not. Do I know what they're about? No, but I see dragons on the covers and so I was pulled in and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll read these eventually. I honestly have no clue when I ever will read these, but I don't like having an unfinished series on the shelves, so I had to buy it. It was also only a $3.95, so it's not like a huge commitment in like cost. So yeah, I got this too. Also on this book haul list, but not exactly my haul, I would say it's more Marcus's haul, but I'm very interested in reading this book, is Aurora's End. As you can see, it's just the dust jacket right now because Marcus is actually currently reading this for the Reindeer Readathon. So yeah, we also just got this book. I also just finished Aurora Burning in November and it was amazing. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one soon. I'm gonna have to wait till Marcus is done, obviously. It's also not on my Reindeer Readathon TBR, so it probably won't be happening in December, but I am very excited to get to this one. And yeah, I hope it's a good ending to this trilogy. I'm nervous, 
I have a lot of emotions after the last one, so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Next up, we have The Loathing by Wilder Nash. I actually talked about this book in a TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, then you've already heard about this book. This is a story about a mission in Afghanistan that goes wrong and then the soldiers are kind of stuck and like have to get themselves out of this situation that they're put in when they thought they were going on a routine mission and then all of a sudden other things happen and it's not exactly a routine mission anymore. And so yeah, this one's quite a chunker and it's a floppy paperback and we all know I love floppy paperbacks, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this was sent to me by the publishers to read and they actually sent me the audio files too, so I'm gonna listen to it as well. Um, but yeah, another book that I recently hauled. The next book I hauled is called Your Career, Your Business and I actually ran a book tour for this one. So this was sent to me by the author and this book is all about kind of assessing the current career that you're in and making decisions where if you need to kind of like go to a new career or kind of just like, just assess like how you are in your job, what you want out of your job, how you want to feel when you're going to your job. It's kind of like a little exercise book and I like that it has like little snippets at the end of each chapter where you can write notes about things and kind of reflect on what you're reading about and reflect on your career journey. So yeah, it's a really cool like little book. And I think this is definitely like a useful book for anybody that is like questioning anything about their career or what they want out of their career. Next up, I actually received two of these books from one of my author friends, and that is Zachary Ryan. So the first one is Playlist by Zachary Ryan. He sent me this um, a while ago. He recently published this one. And so this one is about a girl who something happens to her voice. I'm not quite sure like what the incident is that happens, but she used to be like a very prominent singer. She was, her dad called her his like little canary. And so she's really struggling with the fact that like her voice, she's having a hard time being the singer that she used to be. And then enter Logan, who's like this cocky guy in her like English class. He kind of comes along. And so the two of them start to have some sort of interaction with each other. I don't know if it's a relationship. I'm not really sure like what goes on between the two of them, but they kind of help each other deal with the issues that they've had in the past and kind of move forward. So yeah, I think it'll be an interesting read. I've liked pretty much everything Zachary Ryan has put out. So yeah, I think this one will be awesome and I can add it to my little Zachary Ryan collection that I have on the shelf, which is exciting. Like I have a whole section just like dedicated to his books. So that's awesome. The other book that Zachary Ryan sent me is very exciting because this one, I actually edited this book for him and that is Camp Afterlife. So this one I think is his most recent release. And yeah, it's just, it's really exciting for me. Like I'm just pumped to have this book in physical format because I helped edit this book and make it come to life. And so, yeah, I just, I feel like a sense of pride for this book and I really enjoyed like reading it as I edited it. I think it was really well done. And this is a fun one following the story of a guy named Gus who is dealing with passing on to the afterlife. So he dies and ends up at this place called Camp Afterlife, which is essentially a camp for people that are like passing on to the next stage of the afterlife. And so he's dealing with like camp counselors, other campers, while also dealing with the fact that he realizes he just died and he has to kind of like accept what's happening to him. It's a lot of emotions put into one book. And I think that you guys should definitely check this one out if you get the chance. Then we have this big fantasy book that was sent to me by Mike Martins, and this is The Oathbreakers, which is the Elysian Tales Saga book one. So this is a huge chunker of a floppy paperback, which is awesome. Um, and it looks like it's the start of a really cool fantasy series. So I'm gonna read the back because I don't actually know too much about this one, but it's very exciting. And this cover makes it seem like there's gonna be some pretty cool, like badass fights in here. There's a creepy guy with a mask and I think that's a flaming sword. This guy looks like in a, a hooded figure, so maybe he's an assassin or something. I don't even know. There's buildings falling down, like lots is happening. I think this is gonna be really cool. Let's find out what it's about. The kingdom of Elysia stands upon the brink of ruin. A brewing war with the empire to the south threatens to plunge the entire continent into turmoil and chaos. 
But while kings and lords fight over petty things like power and control, a far greater threat grows in the shadows. Monsters and strange beasts roam the countryside in numbers which seem to be growing faster than once thought possible. Darkness sweeps over the land. Some even believe that an ancient evil stirs, awaiting the chance to break free of its eternal prison. A lone monster hunter soon finds himself being drawn back into a world he thought he'd left behind when he is tasked with hunting and killing a monster for the man who had caused the grief and traumas that left him a broken man. Okay, time out. A monster hunter? Yeah, okay, that sounds awesome. Let's continue. Aided by an assorted crew of powerful fighters, the monster hunter must confront both his own past and a world falling to chaos as he fights both man and beast on a perilous quest which will bring him ever closer to the rising darkness and the powerful creatures that draw strength from it. But in a world full of monsters, the monster hunter may yet come to realize that the worst monster of all is the one born of grief and trauma that lurks within himself. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Like monster hunters, there's like a group of ragtag powerful fighters getting together in this one. So yeah, this sounds like it could be a really good book to start off a cool series. So yeah, this one is being added to my shelf. Next up, we have Forestborn, and this one is actually pretty exciting. I actually saw this book on Hillary's channel, so her channel is Melted Books, and she said that her friend wrote this book, or like I believe it's her friend that's an author, they wrote this book, and it sounds so cool. And also the cover is like absolutely stunning. Like, look at this, this is so pretty. And on the inside, like if you take the dust jacket off, actually, I'll just show you guys. It's not like overly exciting or anything, but there's a little bird on the front. It's kind of like glary, but there's a little bird. So that's cute. So this book follows the character named Rora and she is what they call a shifter. So she has these powers and she uses them to spy for the king. Now this kingdom is suddenly hit with like a magical illness and her best friend who is the prince actually gets this illness. The only way to kind of cure this illness is with the use of stardust. But the only way she can get stardust is by going deep into the forest where she swore that she would never return to because this is actually where she's from. So she has to go on a little mission into the dark woods with a little ragtag group of herself. The prince goes with her and I think one of their other friends. They're also being pursued by people that are trying to get to them and stop them from going to this place. So it sounds like it'll be like a fun, a fun little like quest book. And yeah, I think it could be a really enjoyable read. I'm excited to see what it's all about because Hillary seemed to really enjoy this book and Hillary has good taste in books. So we'll just leave it at that. Like I'm already invested in reading it just based on that. But yeah, I, this was sent to me by the publisher. So thank you for sending me this book. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to eventually getting to this one. Okay, and then the last batch of books were all sent to me by a publisher called Angry Robot Books. I have recently discovered this publisher because they reached out to me with their catalog and said that they were gonna send me like a little mystery box of books. And some of these books sound so good. And when I unboxed it, Marcus got really excited because one of them, I guess he has wanted for a while now. And I hadn't even heard about this book. So I was really excited. The book that Marcus was most excited about is The Maleficent Seven. And this is kind of cool because it's actually following villains. Um, I'm gonna read the back because it, like, it sounds really good the way they like tie it up. But yeah, this one I did not know he was so excited about. And then we got it and he was like over the moon when I pulled this out of the box. So I'll read it for you. A dark new faith is ravaging the lands of Esseran. Cities and towns crumble before its power, unprepared and unable to fight. Defeat and desolation seem inevitable, but dread demonologist Black Heron is not willing to give up so soon. Forty years ago, she abandoned her own bloodthirsty army on the eve of its final victory, but she won't do that again. To defeat this new foe, she needs to reunite her old captains again. A vampire, necromancer, orc chieftain, war god, twisted alchemist, and pirate queen. Can she overcome their vicious rivalries, persuade them to forgive her betrayal? Will these seven legendary villains even be enough to defeat an army of fanatics hellbent on conquest? What? <laughs> that sounds so friggin' good. Like, I am really excited. I didn't even know I wanted to read this one, but after reading that synopsis, yeah, like, I really want to pick this one up. That sounds amazing, and it's following, like, I, I personally usually like the villains anyways, but this is following, like, all the villains on a team together. 
yes! <laughs> I, like, I couldn't want more in a book. So this is so exciting. I'm really happy that I got this one, and I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. Also from Angry Robot Books is Bluebird. I actually just received this one recently, um, so it just arrived. And there's not even a synopsis on the back because this is a proof copy. All it says is lesbian gunslingers in space. And honestly, that's all I need to know. I am already interested based on that one sentence. Like, I'm going to read this. It's going to be awesome. What more could you want in space? Lesbian gunslingers? Yeah, like that's that's what I want to read about. So I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. Then we have Swashbucklers. And so this one, I've been told, is kind of similar to Ready Player One in the sense that it gives you lots of like 80s nostalgia in it. So that is very exciting because I love 80s nostalgia. Um, but this book is following Cisco. He is, I think, in his 40s now, but he's returning home to the town that he grew up in. And he has to save the town from like a ghost pirate, but he has to recruit his friends to help who were with him when they initially did this when they were kids, but his friends don't seem to remember. And so he needs to go on this like kind of quest to help his friends remember that they did this mission in the first place and then get them to help him do it again, except now they're in their forties. Um, so it has a twist of like video games in it. There's a talking fox apparently. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things put into this book and it just sounds really exciting. Apparently he's also trying to do this while doing family things because it's over the holidays. So they got like his child's nativity play, but he's trying to save the town at the same time. There's a lot of stuff happening in this book and it sounds fantastic. So this is another one that I'm really excited to read. I think it's going to be a really fun time, honestly. And yeah, I think the cover is really cool too. Like, look at that cover. Very, very unique the way they did like the game controller in a skull. I like that. So yeah, and Ghost Pirates. What's not to want with Ghost Pirates? Seriously. So yeah, I think this one will be a lot of fun. Then we have Composite Creatures. And so this one, I don't even really know how to like feel about this book. The back is very like mysterious. I don't really know what the book is too much about. Like, I'm going to, I'll read it so you guys can understand what I'm, like, feeling right now, because I don't really know if I understand what this book is about. In a society where self-preservation is as much an art as a science, Nora and Arthur are learning how to coexist in domestic bliss. Though they hardly know each other, everything seems to be going perfectly, from the home they're building together to the ring on Nora's finger. But survival in the world is a tricky thing. The air is thicker every day, and the illness creeps fast through the body. The earth is becoming increasingly hostile to live in. Fortunately, East and Grove have the answer, a perfect little bundle of fur that Nora and Arthur can take home. All they have to do to live long, happy lives is to keep it or her safe and close. So yeah, I don't really understand like what <laughs> what's involved in this book. It sounds very like ominous and creepy because everything's like so perfect. So yeah, I think that this one could be definitely like a mind bender and yeah, maybe I'm getting the ominous vibes just because the cover is like very dark and very mysterious. So yeah, but it sounds like it could be really cool. And the last book that I have hauled recently is Forging a Nightmare. So this was also sent to me by Angry Robot Books. And so this is following this main character whose name is Michael. They're an FBI agent and they're investigating a series of murders. Now, each person that was murdered had 12 fingers and 12 toes. And so there's like a cult that calls these people the Nephilim. And so they're hunting them down and killing them. And so he, Michael, is investigating this cult when he kind of learns more about his own history and realizes that he has been bumped up to the top of this list of the people that they're trying to kill. So now he is kind of on the run because he's not like if he investigates it more he's going to be closer to the targets when he's the victim so he is on the run there are other things that come into play involving a war horse so that's exciting and yeah i think it's michael kind of discovering a little bit more about his heritage and what he needs to do moving forward in the future to obviously avoid getting murdered by these people and i don't really know what else is going to happen but i think that sounds pretty cool as it is. And this cover is just so cool. I love the green too. I'm a big fan of green. So yeah, 
this sounds awesome. So those are all the books that I recently hauled. I'm super excited about a lot of them. I think it's gonna be a really fun time reading these books. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books and which ones you would suggest I pick up first or tell me which ones sound the most interesting to you and maybe that'll like make them go higher up on my list. So we'll see. Also, don't forget about the Kickstarter. I'm putting that in the description down below so you guys can check out that Kickstarter and maybe help support this new graphic novel that's gonna be coming out. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.